wanted to do a quick little review tonight kind of a bench review on the czp07 now i don't really care much for bench reviews but i just got a p09 and i made a couple discoveries here that i want to show you and uh, i think they're pretty interesting okay so first we all know if we're familiar with the czp07 series that they have a decocker or a safety and they come with a decocker and a safety and this happens to be in the bag the safety this one came with the decocker installed on my p09 it came with the safety installed and i had to change it out but uh so basically the hammer's back and now you just, you can decock it it doesn't really have a safety it's a single double single action um it's got, it doesn't necessarily have a three dot sight, just kind of has that white outline. The CZP09 has a little better sight with a three dot sight on it. One of the discoveries that I recently made though, was that the CZP09 mags, which hold 19, they fit. Now they stick out the bottom, but they fit. And uh, that's nice to know that you can get, you know, turn the CZP07 into a 19 plus one gun with a CZP09 mag. That, that's great to know. One other thing about these guns that's great, in my opinion, is there's no magazine safety. The magazine's out, I can pull the trigger no problem. And I think that's great. I'm not much of a fan of the magazine safety. I'm going to do a basic teardown on it for you now and show you how it tears down. Okay, now CZ recommends using the magazine. But first, there's two little lines here. One here and one here. You have to have those lined up in order to, relieve, to remove the slide from the frame. Or there's another way because you're pushing from this side. So basically, let's get the mag out here. You can push it back until the slide touches the hammer and you know you've gone back far enough. Hold it like that and then push it with the corner of the magazine. Push it through. Then you can come over to this side and you can pull it right out. After you pull that out, the slide pulls forward and it's completely, well not completely, but you have the slide off. CZ does not recommend you disassemble this firearm any further than this. If you need any further disassembly than this, they recommend a gunsmith. I would, dis I would disassemble it myself, but you know, I'm not everybody, so if you don't feel comfortable, find a gunsmith. Now one thing about this is this plastic guide rod, they, they came with this cheap plastic guide rod. I'll be changing that out a ASAP. I'll be looking on brass stackers. That's usually where I get my guide rods. Uh, they usually sell a nice stainless steel guide rod for 20, 30 bucks. I'll be looking for one of those and getting rid of that cheap plastic guide rod that they use these days. Now the slide does slide inside of the polymer, unlike a Glock where it slides on top. So basically to put it back together, you push it in, push the slide back into the frame, hold it forward till the notches line up, then you just press it back through, just like that, done. It's back together. I do prefer the sights on the PO9 better 
given that they are a three dot instead of just this white outline. Uh, maybe I'll look into getting a set of PO9 sights to put on here. I'm not sure. But I do like that decocker too. I can't stand the safety on them. I like the decocker. And the decocker, to put the decocker in, they say it's fairly easy. And it is easy, but you got to have some little fine. There's a spring in there. And you got to have a pair of hemostats or a nice little pair of needle nose pliers or something like that in order to change that out. But it is fairly simple once you've done it a couple of times. Love the decocker. And that's pretty much the PO7. I will be doing another field review on this and I will be comparing it to the CZP09. I'll get those videos posted here within the next week or two. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.